Hi everyone, Mac here from My Nerds Leisure World. Today we're going to be taking a look at a huge fifth wheel. This is an all new 2020 Durango. This is the 348 BHF, big family rear bunkhouse model. Uh, let's dive right into it and start talking about features. So up at the front, you'll notice that we have this automotive painted front fiberglass nose cap. Looks gorgeous. It's going to withstand the elements and it also helps you cut the wind a little bit better. Accented really well with those uh, kind of orangish yellow LEDs. Makes it easy to find your trailer at night. Underneath this overhang, you'll notice our basement storage. I'm just going to show this really quickly. Um, Durango does a great job of sealing off all of the uh, entry points that dust might get in here. Also helps a bit with the insulation, but this is a great big uh, basement storage compartment for your trailer. If you start coming down the campsite, you will of course see this big 12 volt power awning. It does have the LED light strip for that accent uh, when you're in your campsite at night. Uh, outdoor speakers of course are standard on this model. We also have this uh, vented battery tray access here along with our battery disconnect switch right here on the campsite which is super handy you can see there's plenty of room to add in a couple of batteries and coming further down you'll notice our huge drop frame baggage compartment now if the kids are starting to get on your nerves you could just throw them right in here uh, it is heated there's lights there's even power outlets they have everything they need to survive the baggage door itself is held up with a magnetic door catch so that's really convenient you can see it is a little bit thicker than the standard size, uh, so that'll help with insulation. And they finish it off with these nice slam latches, um, just nice touches from Durango that I like to note. Uh, the baggage compartment itself is finished off really well, and you can even see some of the points where they've made sure it's really well sealed, so all your stuff isn't gonna get you know, super dusty in here. Uh, there is another feature on the other side, which we will check out in a minute. Uh, let's carry on on the camp side. So coming down further on our campsite, we're going to look at our entry door. We do have the uh, leash latch system direct from factory. It's powder coated steel and mounted ready to go. We also have the flip up solid step upgrade. These are great. I mean, they're super sturdy, great for people with bad knees. They're not going to be bouncing on the trailer as you go in and out. Uh, just all around a great upgrade. I should also mention the Durango comes with a two year factory warranty. That's unheard of in the RV industry. So that just speaks volumes about how they back their product. Last but not least, we're gonna look at the very back of our campsite and cover our campsite kitchen. Uh, so this is super cool. They've upgraded to the new griddle system. A lot of manufacturers are this year and I love to see it. It's super flexible, really easy to clean and take care of. Even has that built in little grease port and it runs off of your onboard dual 30 pound propane tanks on this coach. A little further down, we do have a nice deep storage drawer, true hardwood fronts on all the cabinetry along with wood lumber core construction. We also have hot and cold water access here in the outdoor kitchen. This will come with that curly Q hose that you can plug in and that way you have that nozzle to use however you like. We also have a 110 volt outlet, LED lights and overhead cabinetry built the exact same way as everything else throughout the trailer, but really convenient for that outdoor storage. Right beside that is an electric outdoor fridge. This will definitely hold enough beer for one night. It will keep the party going. Uh, super convenient that you don't have to keep going inside and outside whenever you need a cool drink. So we'll quickly cover a couple of things on the back of this coach, and then I wanna show you that other feature on the non-camp side. So first up is our two inch uh, towing receiver on the back end here. This is rated to 3,500 pounds towing, has the safety chain hooks, as well as our four flat wiring plug right from factory. So that's really convenient. If you're not tandem towing, it's still handy to have for a bike rack or accessory hitch or something like that. Uh, right beside me here is our permanently mounted ladder. That leads to our fully walkable roof. Even the slide ends on this trailer are fully walkable. Super important. Up top, we are backup camera prepped as well. That uses the Furion system. Um, that you can get really easily after market. It's a plug and play system, uh, super convenient. So here we are on the non-camp side or driver's side of the coach. As you can see, this is our pass-through baggage compartment. Um, that's that little outcropping that you saw from the other side. And this is our water convenience center or water manifold. Um, super convenient feature on this trailer. Anything that you wanna do with your plumbing system, you just match the valves to the chart and it does it. Even I can do it and it's that simple. So. Uh, you have your black tank flush, you can winterize, you can fill your holding tanks. We have hot and cold water access here. Here's that curly Q hose I mentioned before. Um, another thing I want to show off is our auto level function. And that's featured right here on the outside of the coach. 
fully waterproof control panel. Um, this is super convenient too. You pull up to the site, you hit auto level, and it does it all for you. All right, so we just stepped foot inside the big Durango here. This is our main entryway. One quick feature I wanna cover before we move on to the kitchen is this LCI One Touch Control System. Um, this is a really cool panel. It's all touch screen, um, super intuitive to use, and we will teach you how to use it on your pickup day. But this will control pretty much every function of your trailer in one central location. So it's a great feature. Uh, a lot of our high-end models are starting to adopt that. Below are our temperature controls. Moving on to our kitchen, uh, first thing I'm gonna showcase is this awesome hutch. Uh, this really increases your storage capacity and allows flexibility for how you use your kitchen. So as you can see, really nice raised paneling, residential quality cabinetry. Just beautiful with those glass fronts. Underneath accented LED lighting, solid surface countertops, so they're nice and durable. This is a great place to put all of your smaller appliances, like your coffee maker or your toaster, that kind of thing. We also have USB charging ports, uh, that one 10 volt outlet for those smaller appliances and storage underneath. You can see our converter is there, but then dual shelving all the way back. Really quickly, before I talk about the kitchen slide out, I do wanna mention we have an upgraded fan up above me here. This is great in the kitchen if I'm cooking. This will really move the air inside the coach. It's also rain sensing, so if you forget to close it and you go away from the camper, it will automatically shut. So that's really nice. Now on our kitchen slide out, you'll notice this huge refrigerator. Nice, big, beautiful stainless steel Norcold fridge, double door. This is an 18 cubic foot capacity. The very biggest you can get without going residential. And the huge benefit of this is that it's still two-way power, propane and 110 volt electric. So you have that flexibility. Now right beside that, we do have our upgraded residential style cooktop. This is a three burner cooktop with a cast iron grate and a little bit larger oven. So uh, easier to use than the standard size you normally see in an RV. Up above that is a residential size uh, convection microwave. Actually, if you've never used a convection microwave, these things are the bomb. They're very handy and finished in that stainless steel finish as well. Beside that, storage on either side and 110 volt outlets either side too. Again, flexibility in the kitchen is important. Carrying on in the kitchen, we have this island. That's a feature of having the opposing slides here and I love it. Um, they're carrying on with the solid surface countertops for durability. And uh, we also have an undermounted stainless steel sink. This is huge. I call it a bath of baby sink. Custom fit covers there, and then the residential style faucet. They also give you a great bank of drawers on the side, four in total. You see they're a nice deep drawer. You get lots of uh, storage room in there. Easy to organize all of your items. And then we have our garbage bin right underneath the island there too. So really well thought out layout in this kitchen. It's wonderfully executed. Last thing to talk about in this kitchen is our pantry. This is where you're gonna store all your dry goods. You see it is lighted in there. Uh, we have a total of one, two, three, four shelves. Um, they're not super deep, but they go very, very wide. And there's a reason they don't go all the way back. You'll see that in the bunk room in a quick minute here. But before we get to that, let's talk about our main living and entertainment center. So now on to our main living center. This is our campsite slide in the main living area. Uh, large windows going all the way around so you can get really comprehensive view of what's going on in your campsite. I like that you get lots of natural light and they're finished with these soft roller shades. That's a really nice upgrade for a window covering. Shows its class. Right underneath these big windows we have our bench dinette which does convert into another bed. Um, so that's there in case you have an emergency guest. And underneath, we have these cabinet doors leading to the under seat storage and these wonderfully handy bins that KZ includes. Um, they're underneath both sides of the dinette. You can use those for a number of things. Another thing I like to note about these slide outs is that we do have oversized switches located in the slide outs to make lightening up your uh, trailer much, much easier, especially in the dark. Last thing on our campsite slide is the uh, theater seating. Now these are a manually reclining theater seat, which is important, uh, but they do have the other features that you'd expect. We've got the uh, heated seats, massage, and also that underglow lighting. Super, super nice, as well as plenty of cup holders. Four in total, just on one seat. 
So this is kind of your captain's chair. You're gonna be most comfortable here on a rainy day. You're not gonna be wanting anything else. Directly across from our theater seats is our entertainment center. It just makes sense. Um, so we've got a 39 inch TV here with our multimedia center underneath and our dual speakers right beside. So this will play CDs, DVDs. Uh, you can stream music from your phone via Bluetooth, it does AM and FM radio, and it controls your speakers inside and outside. Uh, underneath that, we have the electric 5000 BTU fireplace. So this will actually kick out heat on its own. You won't have to burn propane in order to keep yourself nice and warm, like I said, on those rainy days. Up above, there's plenty of storage for board games, movies, extra snacks, you name it. This is your rainy day center. All right, we finally made it to the very rear of the coach. This is the meat and potatoes of it. This is the bunkhouse of this model. Um, up on my left-hand side here, you can see our first bunk bed. This is a pretty standard single size. It does flip up to provide more headroom for those using the sofa underneath. See LED lighting and windows for both occupants. Now I should mention that the sofa underneath is finished in that really nice soft touch vinyl, so it's not going to stain. Uh, really important if you have kids back here unsupervised. It also folds out into an RV queen size bed and there's no air mattress involved. So it's very quick, very easy, comfortable and durable. It's the best of all worlds. It's the best RV hide a bed I have seen to date. Uh, what's really great is you can sleep two adults on it. So it's not necessarily just for kids. Let's talk about some of the storage at the back side of this room. You can see just a full wall of cabinets and cupboards and drawers and they're quite deep as well so you can really customize your storage to fit your needs you can have his and hers hanging space up above and below no need to fight over who's got what where now just opposite of the other main slide we actually have a second slide out so we've got tons i'm talking tons of floor space back here makes this uh, room really flexible with how you use it and uh, what the kids can get away with when mom and dad aren't watching. Uh, we have another overhead bunk here that goes over top of that outdoor kitchen we saw outside. There is USB chargers here as well as an LED light and window. Below that you'll notice this strange setup. So we actually have some really good shoe storage underneath here which also acts as a step up to get into the bunk and it's really solidly built. But we also have this secondary bunk bed which just simply flops down like this to increase your sleeping capacity. And I think that's a wonderful thing. You can increase your floor space or you can increase your sleeping space. Well, we are not quite finished yet with our bunkhouse on this model. There is one more feature to show off to you and that is the second bathroom. This is a half bath, but it's really well done. You can see a foot flush porcelain bowl toilet at the bottom there. So it's got that residential quality. We've got steel door. sink and residential tap set along with one 10 volt outlet. And then we also have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in behind along with a really nice big window featuring those same soft roller shades. So now we're moving more to the front of the coach. Um, we're in the main hallway going up to the bathroom and bedroom area. Let's show you the master bathroom. What I like about this bathroom setup is that it's finished off with a pocket door to increase your space in the hallway. You also notice that triple pane glass door leading to the shower gives you lots of entry space. There's tons of room in the uh, storage cubby beside the shower, along with another foot flush porcelain bowl toilet that also features hanging uh, hooks up above it for towels. Now, opposite of the toilet, we have another mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind. And then we see our typical RV vanity sink combo with storage underneath. Last but not least, we're in the very front of the coach. This is the master bedroom, or master suite as I like to call it. There's a lot of great upgrades to this master bedroom. Uh, let's start covering them now. So starting with the master bed, this is an upgraded 72 by 80 king bed with a padded headrest and dual windows on either side. Those windows are really important. It helps open up that slide ending. Up above that is a little bit of a cubby with LED reading lights for each occupant. Um, those are also important too. Underneath the bed, we have really good storage. This whole compartment you can customize to use however you like. Um, just one big empty blank canvas for you. Now with the bed being on a slide out, you've guessed it, the nose is open for business. So we have a huge front master closet. 
hanging space all the way from wall to wall. It actually goes in behind this compartment too. There's a motion sensor LED light, so you open the door and it lights up for you. Overhead cap, uh, cubby here for storage and tons of room on the floor. I mean, you could use it as a guest bedroom almost. Now, right at the foot of the bed, there's a couple of great features too. Of course, a huge window lets in lots of natural light and lets you see what's going on in your campsite. But they also have this built-in padded bench, which is awesome for putting on shoes or putting on socks in the morning. Uh, I know I usually need a place to sit down, which is really convenient to have built right into the trailer. Um, beside that, we have a full dresser. Each side has three drawers, his and hers, that you can organize however you like or hers and hers, depends who wins, with uh, a tabletop up here. You can either rest a TV there or you can mount it to the wall. We can even do that for you if you like and all of our TV hookups to accommodate that. Another thing I should mention is that we have full AC ducting in the master bedroom. There's actually two ACs on board this unit to make sure everybody stays cool. All right, everyone, this has been my walkthrough of the new 2020 Durango 348 BHF. As you can see, this is a huge full profile, full width, um, luxury bunkhouse model fifth wheel. This is gonna do you really well in a seasonal site, or if you have the truck to pull it, anywhere you wanna go. Now this is an extended stay camper, which means we've got really upgraded uh, insulation properties all throughout. All of our plumbing is actually insulated in a subfloor separate from the underbelly. So make sure to ask us more about that and we'll be glad to dive right in. But other great features to remember, super well organized kitchen, that incredible bunk room with the opposing slides and tons of storage. Uh, we've got that outdoor camp kitchen, uh, auto level, which is super convenient, and a king size bed in the master bedroom. Overall, this is a killer floor plan. We know it's going to sell lots. So if you'd like to see more like it, make sure to check us out at MyNerdsLeisureWorld.com. And don't forget, we actually have two locations now to serve you better. One here in Weyburn, and then also up in uh, Watcher, Saskatchewan. I hope to see you soon.